Mortem Friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living and it's 12 after 10 in the morning. I ended this last video this morning but um, today's just going to be a take it easy kind of day because I feel like I need it but I still need to make supper so why don't you hang out with me while I make some supper. Um, I took out, I should have took it out yesterday but I wasn't I don't know what I'm doing from one day to the next. I have two of these little hams, both 50% off. I'm going to try to defrost them in the microwave. There's the other one. Do that and whip up some scalloped potatoes. We haven't had that in, God, I don't know how long. That and I'll open a jar of peas I have down in the basement. And that'd be a good supper. But I need to peel up some potatoes. Sometimes I never make it the same way twice. Sometimes I slice up the raw potatoes and parboil them and then put them in a pan. I like, well, not that I'll be eating with scalloped potatoes anyways, but I like my potatoes to be... What? You want a little attention, do you? I, I don't want them to be crunchy at all. I like my potato scallop to be nice and creamy and rich, almost like my corn chowder. Um... Yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I'd probably use my mandolin, though, to slice them up nice and small. But, yeah. Anyways, let's get that ham in the microwave to defrost. All right, I filled this one up. And there's a bunch of birds right there. Morning doves, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. They're No, they're not doves. But they're waiting for me to go. So you guys can come and have your brekkie. I filled that up with two big cups fulls. It's not quite to the top, but it's good enough for now. And then this one I already had to fill up once already, but there's still enough in there. I'm going to move that snow out of the tray. Oh, it's very exciting. That uh, purple one that I, with the black seeds in it, I took the lid off and moved it around. I think it was kind of frozen. That's why the seeds weren't coming out. But the one that I filled up first with the little seeds, little birds started coming to it when I was fixing that other one. I was very excited. Like, oh my god, they're starting to like me. They're starting to like me, or know that I'm not going to hurt them anyways. I love it. Alright, it's working everybody. I'm winning over the birds. I'm just brewing my coffee, but there's some little ones down on the yellow one. I don't know where your binoculars are. Well, did you get me my uh, combinated? Board? No, I didn't. Uh, there was some on those other two that are hanging there, but yeah, very exciting. Cool. All right, friends. Oh, while it's under the table, Manly's right there. It's ten forty-nine. So I'm gonna peel some spuds. I just took the two hams out of the microwave. They're not completely defrosted, but I'll let them sit out a couple hours and they'll be fine. And we're going to do this. Do this, do this. Oh. Let's I just rotated some laundry. I didn't have anything to hang up, but I'll put stuff in the dryer. This is a small potato. I want to use up these because I got a big bag of potatoes for my mother-in-law. She sent up and she has like giant potatoes. What? I like potatoes. Now I'm going to do this. I don't want you playing with the mandolin. Because you're too little. I am not. <laughs> You'd rather me play with a knife instead? I'd rather you play with a knife than a mandolin. Yes, I would. I'm just putting them in here for now and then after I'll slice them up and we'll be good. But do you have uh, any more? Well, no, I washed your stuff yesterday. Um, I 
had to refill one of those bird feeders down there. Sure. They're starting to like me, Nally. They're starting to like me. It is. Birds aren't real. There's that group, birds aren't real. I know it's just a, it's a funny thing. It's not a serious thing. Still. Some people take it like they're being serious. That's true, the birds aren't real. No, they're all. They're spies. Yeah, they're spies. Well, if they are, I'm going to win them all over and then I will be the boss. Most birds are real, but pigeons aren't. Their lives. Uh, hey, don't be hating on pigeons. Pigeons are liars. <laughs> They're not liars. Yeah, so I'm trying to use this up. There's three potatoes in this bag, three potatoes in this one, and I needed this when I was making chips. Yes. You wouldn't let me. I wouldn't. It, uh, I'd like to get one of those gloves that are like no cut gloves that you can't cut your hand in it. Really, that's what, because that comes with like a little slider handle. I'll show you when I go to use it. But I don't find it very stable. I don't like it. I used to use a big old thick oven mitt, but I don't have it anymore. And it would get all tore up. But I'll make it work today. Potatoes. Food handler. Food holder, that's what it is. I mean, you don't even have to use one of those. You can just slice it up nice and thin with your knife. I just thought, well, if I'm doing it, I might as well do it all the way. And I'm going to make small potatoes once in a blue moon. So. I'm allergic to milk. We'll do this. Stop eating dairy. I'm going to We're not meant to drink milk like that. We're not maybe calves, but we do like to cook with it a lot, so I'm kind of a hypocrite. Yeah. Anyways, um, what are you doing, Manly? Nothing. We're bored. Bored. Yeah. Well, you didn't clean your room if it's a mess. I'm bored. I'm real sad. I'm going to finish off this bag. But, anyways, yeah, when that ham is done uh, defrosting, I'll wait till after lunch and then I'll slice that up. Not with the mandolin, of course, but into little things. I'll probably do it in the oven for a little bit just to make it sweat. I don't like ham when it's kind of slimy. Um, it's not as good as like a real picnic ham, but those football hams are good. Mm. And there's not going to be a whole bunch of it, like there probably won't be leftovers. So there's just those two little hams and that'll be that. Mm. And there's still some things left over from the strawberry social. Mm. I think there's, well there's some biscuits left and we can always make, I don't know if we have whipped cream left, that's not very good. But there's a little bit of that jello pretzel thing left, not much, and strawberry cake. So the cheesecake's pretty well gone, I'm pretty sure. And chocolate covered strawberries are don't gone. Stop doing that, Molly. And <sighs> yeah. I'm trying to use up all of that stuff. Yeah. But your purple blanket is in the dryer right now. Good. Good. Are my pillows washed? No, I'm gonna wash your pillows next. It's hard sleeping without a pillow. It's hard sleeping without a pillow when you're used to sleeping with a pillow. left in there. I'm just going to do them all so I can get rid of these two bags. Um, 
because if there is leftover scalloped potato, we can always use it with tomorrow with whatever we make for supper. Well, what you make for supper doesn't go good with scalloped potatoes. Yeah, scalloped potatoes can go with anything, really. I'll make you eat it anyways. Yeah. Ooh, that's not a good one. <laughs> Want to stick my finger in it? <laughs> that one was a squishy one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll do this. Can you get me a big um, cutting board? No, can I? I don't know, can you? Okay. Maybe. Should rinse these before I start slicing them. Just be easier to do that. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. I thought, well, I'll get my work done this morning and then kick back. I didn't know whether I was going to actually pick up you guys today after I finish this morning. I'm going to rinse these off. Rinse these off and I'll be right back. All right. They're all rinsed. Why are you wearing gloves? Potatoes make my hands itchy. Like real itchy. Uncontrollably itchy. I can't imagine that to me. Ooh, I'm glad you can't imagine because it's torturous. All right, I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, this is that thing. It has like little pokes in there. It really is not the greatest. <laughs> okay. Shut it. No. <laughs> It'll make it so much easier. Let me do it my way. No. Your way is not correct. Like that? Yes, like that. <sighs> All right. You were right this one time. Not just this one time. I've been right many times. Slices them up nice, nice and thin. That's not so much easier. <laughs> All right. I'm scared you'll cut your fingertip off. I know. Also, who needs a fingertip? Well, if for God forbid you ever go missing and there's fingerprints found, what if you didn't have a fingerprint that could be identified? I have nine others. No, nope, you need to have all ten. No, you don't. I do this sometimes for pickles, like for uh -huh. sliced pickles. And I actually did this before when I was doing sauerkraut before I realized the genius of a food processor. I love my food processor. 
And really I could do this too in the food processor, but then I'd have to cut them so small to fit down the chute. It's not worth it. I'm just trying to find all the actual potatoes. This used to be my mom's. I think it's Pampered Chef or something. I don't know. Yes, it is Pampered Chef. I've seen you. Your pinky was off of it by Austin. Keep your pinky on. Hold it. Okay. It's dangerous. It is very dangerous. You don't want to lose your fingertip. All right. Stick a cork in it, Zane. Oh. You guys know what that's from? It's a good one. It's a good one. Do you know what it's from, Mel? No. Stick a cork in it, Zane. Okay, this is the last one. There you go. Taters. Well, that's all I'm doing. Yeah, this can't. It came with, like, I can take that I have different ones. I don't know where my other ones are, but that's the one I always use anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So what I think I'm going to do this time, I'm going to fill this with hot water and just bubble it for maybe five minutes. Not even, like, just let them sit for a little bit so they slowly soften up, and then I'll strain them. Tater them. In a separate pot, I'll make the... <clears throat> milky cream creamy sour, cream. sour creamy um mixture that we're gonna mix it all up in so i'll be right back all right this just started to boil so i'm shutting it off i'm gonna leave it for i don't know five minutes or so and then i'm going to strain it oh Mally, stop being so silly <laughs> all right I strain those potatoes. They're just in the strainer, so I'm going to use this. Here's some butter. I'm going to make... I haven't made this in so long. I kind of forget how I make it. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to make kind of a roux. I need a little bit of flour. Bye. Bye. Love ya. Love ya. I need some flour. Watch out, Violet. how I start my mac and cheese, my corn chowder, and my scalloped potato, I guess. I make like a roux. Butter, flour, mix it together, burn off that flour flavor. Add milk and sour cream. I have other stuff over there I'm going to throw up in here. And yeah, I'll put the potato and this concoction all together in a casserole dish and bake it. Oh, and I do have some leftover um, shredded cheese from tacos we had the other day. I ended up shredding up a couple of blocks just, just because I know I would use it for something. So yeah, I'm just waiting for this butter to melt a little bit. Then I'll put some flour up in here. Some real butter. Oh, I did have some bacon fat in there. That would have worked good too. That would have been quite tasty. But this is real butter, so. Oh, Randall's out there. Yeah. We're quite a, a beehive of frenzy sometimes with little birds out there. To all you bird people that, you know, do, have been doing this for years, you're probably laughing at me like, oh, she's. She's so foolish, but it's very exciting for me. And Violet, she gets a kick out of it too. I just have to reassure her she's not being replaced, not at all. She's the most beautiful dog in the world in my eyes. Oh, what a cute 
keep this moving before it burns. Turn off that flour flavor. I like this nice and thick. I don't like soupy, runny, watery scalloped potato. No, 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 no. Okay, we got too freaking far away. It's too far away, Violet. Okay, I'm gonna add some of this, let it thicken up, and then I add some more. It doesn't take too long, but you gotta stand over it and continue to move it. I've learned over the years, don't turn your back on this. It's not worth it because then you'd have to dump it all out and start all over again. Ooh, Nelly. Now, I don't mean to make a giant pot of this because it's not like making a chowder, a chowder. But I want enough. I want enough that I'm not scrimping. But I have more potatoes than sauce. I want a good mixture. Now, with this, if I was making mac and cheese, I'd start adding the cheese to it until it, you know. It's really cheesy and thick. So yeah, those potatoes aren't cooked all the way through, but they're just half cooked. And I don't know what we bake it at, probably 350 for an hour. It's 11.31 now, so. And Something like scalloped potatoes often better the next day, I find, after it gets to sit for a while. And then reheat, and it's like, ooh, as long as you have a season good, ooh. Yeah, let me go get the other stuff I have over here. Okay. I have some sour cream. It's not a whole thing, but I'm adding what's left of it to use it up. To use it up. It's getting thick, baby. Thick. Let's get it all. some salted green onion tips. I have some minced garlic. I should add some garlic and onion powder to it too. I didn't add any salt. I gotta turn this down a bit because it's just getting thicker and thicker and I'm running out of milk. Well I do have canned milk. That would be freaking delicious too. Evaporated milk. And I took out, I have a little bit of ranch left in a thing. I'm thinking I should add that, like ranch to potato. People put it on like baked potatoes. Why couldn't you put it in scalloped potatoes? So, uh, maybe I'll do that. This is just green onions salted and like almost kind of fermented. You keep it in the fridge and you don't need very much. that in there. It'd be like adding a punch of onion soup mix. Something like that. Only this is that. And I got some garlic here. Oh, what's that? Okay, let's 
mix that. Ooh, baby. Maybe I'll add some, um, I'm going to taste this. Some slap your mama. We found, the, I found that up there. It's not full, but, but that's the last of it. Add that. This is a clean spoon. Well, not anymore, but it's good. We need some of this, though. We need some of this. And then I'm going to get that ranch to use that up. I'm not waiting. I don't need that scorching. Yeah, I am. Right. So, so this is what I'm saying. It's like I can't go with. Hey, some people put ranch on pizza. Marquis um, said that to me, and uh, he said it was delicious. Never thought of it. But it's ranch. What do you expect? Deliciousness. All right, this is good enough. I'm going to get out the dish we're going to put this scalloped potato in, and I'll meet you over at the table. Oh, just before we go over there, I want you to see kind of the consistency. It's thick, but it's not so thick that this stands up in it. You know what I mean? It's creamy. All right, guys, I have you over there. I'm just getting that shredded cheese I had in the fridge. Right there. Oh, we're gonna do it up. I have a dish here. I'm gonna spray it, whether it really needs it or not. I don't know, but I'm gonna spray it anyways. Makes me feel better. Okay. So here are those potatoes. I'm gonna pour like half of them in. Well, that's more than half. So. Ooh, baby. I'm just preheating the oven to 350. Since it has those salted onions in here, I'm not going to slice up onions and put it in. It would be good, but I just want to, I just want to do this. Let me try to move some of this around so it actually gets on all the potato. Now, I might not end up using all this sauce. I am going to save that though, because maybe Melly will want to make a mac and cheese later, or... I don't know. I don't know. But this is good. Oh, this is good. I'm going to put a layer of cheese down. Again, I don't do this every time. Like, a lot of my recipes, I can never replicate it because I don't ever follow recipes. And I know that probably drives some people crazy. I know one person in particular it does. Not in a mean way, but she's like, how can you not follow a recipe? But I just can't. Nobody can tell me what to do. Get those. Oh. Let's just try to spread that over. This is gonna be cheesy, creamy, and rich. And I am gonna cover this. I'll wait till that oven comes up. I don't know, bake it. 
45 minutes. I'll che check it after that and then maybe uncover it and bake it a little more until it gets bubbly and a little brown on top. I'm just guessing. That sounds about right, but... This is... Ooh, it's looking good, baby. Looking good. I don't want to jump the gun and not put enough because... But then i got to think some of those potatoes are going to release some water. That's probably good. Yeah, that's good. There. And we'll put some cheese on top of this. And this isn't, you know, like they're going to have a slice of ham, they're going to have some peas. It's not going to be just like a great big cheesy dish of potatoes, like, which would be delicious. But. And my family really likes potatoes, so it's a neat, different way to jazz it up a bit, you know? So we'll run that corner there. And you can't really see, but I'll get you off. You can't see the potatoes anymore, they're smothered. But just a second. All right, there we go. There we go. So I will tent some foil over top of it and put it in the oven. And we'll check it in a little while, but right now I'm going to put this in a container. There's enough there to do something up with, and that stuff costs too much money to throw in the compost, I can tell you. Oh, all right, friends, I just brought some compost out. There's birds all around me. It's very exciting. I'm going to check these bird feeders. I'm not going to fill them up again today. I'm not going to do that, like, several times a day, but I filled this one up this morning. And, oh yeah, there's still quite a bit there. The peanuts are gone, though. There was peanuts in there. And, look at this. Heaven's sakes. Yeah. Look, it's on the ground there. I had this filled up, and the peanuts are gone, too. Uh, sitting on here, but... Somebody knocked it over. I hope you're listening. Anyways, I'm not going to fill that up again, but I will bring it in the house. I'll just spread the seeds on top of the table, and then tomorrow I'll fill it up and bring it out. But at least they can still get the seeds. But yeah. So, and this is that stuff that I made, uh, like the cream okay. stuff. So okay. that can be used for something. All right just doing up lunch it's just after or it's just almost one o'clock this is a toasted bagel with herb and garlic cream cheese some sugar snap peas and a little bit of that pretzel cream cheese jello strawberry dessert all right friends i have yesterday's video edited and exporting now so then i can upload it it's 244 my husband just got back from tam we're waiting for the wood guy he's um actually delivering two cords of wood today so we're just waiting on him so, yeah, anyways, my husband went to town. All I said we needed was milk, but he picked up a few other things. Oh, just a minute. All right, um, some Oreo grant, like crumbs to make another cheesecake. I think somebody wants another cheesecake. Uh, two things of old cheddar cheese. Got some box wings. I don't know if we've had this kind before, but they must have been on sale. Two bags of sugar. Some honey graham crumbs. Four things of cream cheese, that's what I'm thinking. Some more whipped topping. A jug of milk. And he picked up a tender meal. I mean, I'm making supper tonight, but I guess just to get it because he initially went in like for an ink cartridge, but he got me a coffee and a few other goodies. Well, we're still waiting on the wood man. I think I'll sit here and fold this because I feel like I'm twiddling my thumbs waiting for him. He didn't give a specific time, just a guesstimate, estimate, you know what I'm saying? So, any any time now, we'll see. But, I will hold this.
Misha are playing around, horsing around. Got that folded. So that's good. Violet keeping an eye out for me because she has sharper eyes than I do sometimes. Sharper ears. At least. Oh, all right. I have two towels I think to hang up and I got another load going with some pillows. Not very much and then I think I'm all caught up. So that's awesome. All right, guys. I haven't checked in. Well, a while ago, I guess. It's 3.43. Ooh, this is still pretty hot. I had shut this oven off long ago, but it's still hot in here. I didn't even check this. Like I put it in, and then after that timer was off, I just shut it off and left it. Ooh, -wee. Yeah, I would say that's done. Yeah. What I am going to do, though, what was I going to do? Oh, that, uh, Ham. I'll put it up to 400. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, hot. All right, I'm gonna get a cookie sheet. We're gonna cut up that ham, put it in the oven just to make it sweat a bit. It's all cooked. Like I could take a bite out of it like an apple, but it's all cooked. I just want to get it warmed up, sweat it out, and then I'll just nuke a jar of my canned peas from the basement. So let me get set up for that. All right. Oh. Well, let me just get this open first. Just curious what it says. Place ham, cut side down, in shell baking pan, add, add water, no. Cover foil, heat preheated 350 for 45 minutes. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm slicing it up, putting it in at 400, and I'll check it every 15 minutes. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you can see. Oh, I should do this over the sink because there's a little liquid there. Too, but I can do more at one time. If I do this, I want to make it nice and thin. Wonder if I can get it all on one pan. Oh, I should probably be able to. Violet, that one was a little more tricky. Maybe I'll do it like this. I'll do it like those other ones. Just slice it up. Even though it's not up to 400, but I'll just check it, flip it over. 
drain off what sweats off and put it in for another 15 or so. I'll be back. All right, guys, the wood guy is here. I just have you set up in the laundry room out the window. I just went down in the basement and got a thing of peas. So you can watch him back his thing up and dump the wood there. I know it's not the, ba the best with that right in the middle, but it's friggin' cold out and I don't want to go stand outside. So I'll just put some funny music over it. Watch out, Violet. Let's get out. <laughs> After I took this out, drained it, and flipped them over and put them back in for another 15, they're done. The wood's dropped. My husband's still outside with Dawson. Um, where's the peas? I brought them up. Yeah. There. I'm going to pop the top, put them in a bowl, heat them up in the microwave, and... Good seal. Gotta love it. There. Yeah. And then we'll just dish up. All right. I just took those. So listen to the bubble. Ooh, it's hot. She's hot. The peas are hot and the ham is hot. See what I did? Like it's not burnt. It's not anything. Just to sweat it off because honestly, the first go around, first 15 minutes, this was soaking, sopping wet. And yeah, we like it like this. So anyways, I'll set you guys up. We'll get a couple plates going and yeah, supper will be done. There we go. So he said, I told him we want some wood for next year. Yeah. He said, yeah. And he said, what I can do, because I was telling him getting wood and then throwing it in. He goes, what you can do is order it over the course of the year. I can bring you two here, two again. And two again, and then we'll have, you know what I mean, all yeah. in your yard at once. You know, like, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah, I'd like to start off with a good chunk, though. Well, you're the boss, so you just tell me how much you want, and we'll get her. Well, I'd say if we're going to get ten, we should get like a pound. Five. All right, let's do this. Misha says she doesn't want a lot, so I won't give you a lot. Because I am I don't know if this is the best thing to scoop this out with or what. Probably not. Wow. Well, it was only a little bit. It's just, it's so hot that it's not sitting up. Do you want some ham? Yes. Do you want some peas? No. I'll give you one. You've got to have one piece. No. Just one. No. Just one. There's her one pea, scalloped potato and ham. So she had some taters and stuff earlier, but she's not super hungry. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to end this video now. Supper was a good success. I didn't really chat when I got the rest of the plates ready. My husband was on the phone in the kitchen and all that stuff, but um, there's no ham left. I don't think there's any scalloped potato left. Maybe a little teeny tiny bit. I don't, I don't think so. Hey, and the peas are gone. So that's just what I wanted. I like it when something can be all used up so I don't have leftovers kicking around 
on top of other leftovers, if you know what I'm saying. So that's good. We hadn't had that in a long time, and the kids really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. I really didn't think I'd film very much. Oh, just a minute. Oh, that was just my husband coming upstairs. <laughs> I'm sitting at his desk. But, yeah, I wasn't planning on filming much today because I ended my last video like this morning but I'm glad I like hanging out with you guys when I'm making some sort of meal yes Violet and uh yeah I do plan on filming tomorrow I don't know what we'll get up to but we'll get up to something so I'm gonna say peace love and happiness today and every single day please like share and subscribe if you so choose but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay. Well, we're supposed to, the weather's supposed to be warm plus nine tomorrow and wind and rainstorm. And then it's supposed to flash freeze, I think the next day. So it's kind of like a storm, only not a like snowy storm, but a freezing ice storm after a mild day. It's going to be bananas bananas so yeah we'll just have to wait and see how that peters out huh yeah all right so with that i'm gonna say have a good night or have a good morning and i will see you tomorrow bye boink